development of industry, constitution and constitution making, democracy and human rights. Welcome and enjoy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about trade. Trade is the buying and selling of goods and services for mutual benefit. There are three types of trade, namely local, regional and international. Local trade is the exchange of goods among people within the same geographical area. Regional trade is trade between two or more geographical regions within the same continent. International trade is the trade between different countries in one continent and even beyond the continent. We are now going to learn about the Trans-Saharan trade which was between North and West Africa. This was the trade between the people of West Africa and those of North Africa across the Sahara Desert. It is believed to have been in existence from 1000 BC until the 16th century. Various factors facilitated the development of the Trans-Saharan trade. These were availability of trade goods such as gold and salt and presence of oases that provided water. The Tuaregs in the desert provided security to the traders and acted as guides, existence of well-established trade routes, high demand for goods in both regions, introduction of the camel as a means of transport, and the existence of powerful kings in West Africa who provided security, for example, Mansa Musa of Mali. The people involved in this trade from North Africa were the Babas and Arabs who initiated and financed the trade. Traders moved in caravans across the Sahara to and from West Africa and were provided with security by the Tuaregs. The goods from North Africa included salt, iron tools, weapons, silk, beads, horses, and cowrie shells. The most important commodity from the north was salt, while those from West Africa were gold, slaves, ivory, gum, kola nuts, hides and skins, and ostrich feathers. The most There were three major routes, namely Western, Central, and Eastern. The map provided shows these trade routes. The Trans-Saharan traders were faced with various challenges. They included long and tiring journey in the desert, scarcity of resources, and extreme weather conditions. Sometimes it would be extremely hot during the day and extremely cold in the night. At the same time, the Tuaregs changed their role from guiding to attacking the traders. The traders were also attacked by the desert creatures such as scorpions and snakes. Language barrier and sandstorm that sometimes buried the traders were other challenges that they faced. The Trans-Saharan trade affected the people of West Africa in many ways. These were establishment of empires and kingdoms, for example, Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. Slave trade led to depopulation, insecurity, and misery. Development of urban centers such as Gao, Kano, 
Jene, Walata, and Timbuktu, intermarriage between the people from the north and those from the West Africa, and spread of Islam and erosion of pre-existing culture. 